nearing the 17 minute mark. Now a tough baseline jumper, and how did he make that? He cut off by Mullins. To the trailer, Jackson for the jump hook in the lane, a beauty from 13. Poteet out there as well, and he tries to block the shot, but too late on the great feed down low, an easy bucket for yep. Simeon Kirkland. Haven't heard from him yet as he attacks the other way. Across the lane, scoops it up and in, soft with the finish. Be nice to get him going. And he'll get going here on the easy layup on the Rice turnover. An 8-0 privateer run, and Rice hasn't scored in over three and a half minutes. Lost two and then passes up top, and another deflection in this deal. This time St. Hilaire takes it from McBride, goes at him, and scores off the glass. What? Now Kirkland will hand it back to Green, who goes into the lane, feeds Bell, one power dribble, and he sees a wide open teammate for the flush. Kirkland on the feed from Bell. You got to make shooters drivers. 8-0 Rice run. Green tries to answer and does on the pull-up jumper straight away in the paint. Might come down to a last possession before the night is over with. Kirkland, nice Ooh. spin move, and you can't get much better than that on the jump hook. 32-29, Owls with the lead. 5-15 and counting first Ooh. half. Two veteran guards hook up. Back door, Green to St. Hilaire for the easy layup. Don't like to see a shooter if you're New Orleans get the early makes and yeah. get hot off the ball, but you love to see Robbie Robinson with the jump hook. He's got to continue to post and bury the uh, Fiddler Stolen deep in that from paint. behind of, from Evie and St. Hilaire with the easy lay-in right there. He took a gamble going from behind. Roy Green has gotten it going early and can do a lot off the bounce. Green helped him for a moment, finds a wide open Allen Eikens lurking on the baseline for the layup with Sheffield in front of him, will back out on the dribble and launched one and drain one from deep. Derek St. Hilaire can heat up in a hurry and the Privateers with their first made three of the ball game. They go in the post to Kirkland, who spins to his right, now turns back, banks it in and one off the glass. Double teamed and finds Kirkland, but the pass to his feet, able to save it. Gets it right back from Saki. Free throw line, Allen Eikens goes to the hole and banks it in. Well, that was a good decision. Uh, St. Hilaire that to slow the ball down. Uh, Jackson did a good job of making sure. But that was a good decision by uh, St. Hilaire that to slow the ball down. Uh, Jackson did a good job of making sure. As Allen Eikens on the bounce against Sheffield. Sheffield flopped there, no whistle. The feed down low sets up an and one for Tyson Jackson. Up top to St. Hilaire. Thinking about shooting, rising and firing and hitting. Mullins That's didn't challenge bucket. him. Yeah. Here is Green passing back to Derek St. Hilaire, who will shoot a bomb and rattle it home. Derek St. Hilaire, the microwave is heating up for New Orleans. Give him 19 in the contest. Oh. That the difference in the game is Green has it with 10 to shoot for UNO. Privateers need a bucket in the lane. Green gets the bucket on the pull-up jumper. Jackson with the screen, gets the switch against Fiedler, goes to the hole and misses, but Jackson right there. It was almost like a pass. And setting up some screening near half court. Fiedler gets it and puts it in the hands of Pierre's double team. Here is Fiedler, and he goes with the bounce pass to Evie. Can they get it out of the backcourt? That is going to be a turnover Ooh. any way you like it. A huge turnover forced by UNO, and it should have been a shot clock violation anyway. But the privateer pressure in the backcourt got the job done.